Hello, hello, Wicked Fairy again, and we're back with more Banished. Yeah, I know, it's been a while. What can I say, I got into Goat Simulator quite a bit. Um, so yeah, we're back with the Scottonians, and as you can probably already tell, I've been playing a bit off camera. Figured I'd, you know, move things along, it was getting a little boring. Um, I'll keep it paused for a moment, just to show you around. Um, as you can see, I've got another field in. I've swapped the, uh, squash was over here. I put the pumpkin over here, squash over here. Um, and I also swapped out the peaches and the cherries, so that, you know, they would, uh, rotate. Yeah. <laughs> Not get diseases, pretty much. Um, still struggling with the wood and the firewood, but we've got our little nest over here with the forester, the hunter, and all that good stuff. Storage barn over here on this end is just constantly full. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, but to help with the wood situation, I've put in this forester here. Just set them to plant only for a while, and then once the trees were starting to get pretty good, I added in the cutting again. So we're, we're keeping up, but we've got a lot more houses, so it's using more wood. Um, I guess you can obviously see we've got a marketplace! Woo! This is gonna be one of my big residential hubs. Um, obviously I'm gonna keep some jobs around here just so commute isn't bad, but means that I don't have to put food production up here. All my food production can stay down here. And probably move into this area too. Nice and flat. And big. Um, I also put in another fish hut, cause, meh, fishies. You always want to get, have a good variety in your food supply, otherwise it's not going to be good. Um, the less variety people have, the more often they'll get sick. So I try to have, you know, at least two kinds of crops, two kinds of orchards, lots of fish, gatherers hut, lifesaver. You get so much out of that. You get the berries, herbs, um, onions, mushrooms, and roots. And obviously the venison comes from the hunter. Um, obviously I don't have pear. I traded for those. So anybody tells you you can't trade food for fruit for anything, not true. You can get variety. At the very least you can always add to your variety by trading some of your food. So, I'll take you over to my trading post, and you can see I've got a lot of venison in here, and a lot of other stuff too. <laughs> Food is off the charts, and it's because I've been keeping my farmers maxed out during the summer. Well, spring, summer, autumn season. Starting to feel comfortable, I'm knocking it back a couple so I can have more laborers at all times. Um, but yeah, I've been adding a lot more housing. Um, haven't really progressed much more than that. Uh, I had my tailor off for quite a while, that's why the, the stored clothes are really low. But, eh, it's fine. Um, still gone over... Uh, what's it called? Surplus. <laughs> a surplus of tools, um, and I've been just surviving on clearing out stone and iron from the landscape, like I haven't even started the mining, but I think that's going to be one of my next things. I usually try to hold off because it kills a lot of people, and I hate to see my little people die in the mines. More guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add a couple vendors. 
That way, we can get stuff up here. These people don't have to hike all the way down here, or all the way over there. You know. Yay! Make their lives a little easier. And yeah. I've been playing on 10 speed, so... Things seem to go pretty fast, but at the same time, if I wasn't on 10 speed, it, it would just be a crawl. It really would. <laughs> Like, I'd rather just pause every once in a while than, um, you know, keep it at a really slow pace. Um, I did get rid of the stockpile over here, that way I can fit in some more storage barns or something more useful. Stockpile's not really needed in this area, I'm not gonna be building over here anymore. Oh, and there's a trader! Let's pause that. And see, we've got walnuts, peppers, and pears. We've got plenty of pears, so I think I'll trade for some peppers and a bunch of walnuts. Actually, I think I'll buy out the walnuts. I love that it tells me that. Let's see, I think it's like 35 I need to put in there. Oh, nope. 32? 33? Eh. That works. Oh. <laughs> okay. In situations like that, you just add. Whoops. Keep forgetting that it adds 20 automatically. Just add one, round it out with something else. Yay! Trade them, and. You may be gone. Bye bye! I love the trading. The trading's so easy, they just come right to you, and uh, I, I never run into the problem that, oh, I can't trade for this because you won't accept what I have to trade. I, I, I never run into that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why people always say they, they can't trade their food. I've never had that problem. Outside of like once. And that's because uh, I didn't want what the guy had anyways. So, la da! Oh, and this is going to add so much to my storage. Yeah, and um, my food. Oh my god, look at... Wait. Yeah. Food limit. I had to raise it to 8,500. I kept maxing out halfway through the season. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyways, we've got people up here now. Let's gather all the stone we can in this area. And I think I'm going to put my mines up here. Ugh. Damn it. Just collect everything. Everything! Like I said, more I can get off the surface, less people die in the mines. So now that we've got that, let's get more houses built so we can keep our little peoples growing. And probably as soon as I put in the mine, I'm gonna put in a, a graveyard. <laughs> it makes your people happy. I don't know. Well, no, I, I do know. Graveyards are cool. Most people find them depressing, but I, I find them relaxing. I don't know. Peaceful. Logs are slow. Yay. People... Why are we not fixing this? Mm, let's drop that down to 10. Uh... Wow, they really do have a little bit of everything. Uh, I think we can drop vendors down to 1. That way we'll have more laborers go picking up rocks and shit. Um, let's 
see. I'm hoping to get some chickens soon. You know what? Let's put them in a pen and if we're lucky, that's what we'll get next time. And yeah, you'll notice I'm not dropping down to one anymore on my farmers because I like to make sure that the farms at least have one person working them in the spring. That way if I lose track, get distracted, they're still covered. Okay, so we'll put that down for eventual chickens. Get a couple more builders. And should probably start filling this out, but I don't have any other seeds. I could probably afford to trade for seeds next time they come around, so that's always good. Uh, let's see, how's this storage barn doing? Eh, not too bad. Oh, that's right, because I, I just traded. Yeah, that's that's the thing with the trading post. If you say 1800 venison, once you make a trade and what is in here goes down, they're gonna um, immediately replace it out of your stock. So you do have to be careful with that. Hmm... Yes, I will take some eggs and wheat. Yeah, so I think it's time to trade with some of my other stuff. And yeah, let's start that. Why are you doing that all of a sudden? Weird. Eh, what the heck? That is one weird number. 500. Okay. 200. And let's try 300. And then 300. Oh, nope. Not 300. Let's try 200 there. There we go. Perfectly even trade. I like it. Yeah, because let's see. We've got a ton of cherries there. And eh, maybe not as much as we should. So I'm going to lower my inventory count. That way I don't suck everything out of my barns. There we go. Keep wanting to use the scroll wheel. Derp. Yeah, I'm actually... <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not have any fish in there. that to 1700. Yep, sounds good. So we'll unpause that. And it's spring, perfect timing. Yeah, let's max out the farmers again. I guess I got ahead of myself. That could have gone very, very bad. Um, if I hadn't caught what I did. <laughs> So, yay for catching shit! <laughs> oh, yeah, we really need to get this wood situation back on track. Oh, whoops, I forgot they could- or I forgot to tell them they could go. Bye bye! Let's wave to the people! Alrighty, so... Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't like to place a lot of houses all at once. Um, I do like to give them time to fill up first. Um, cause what happens if you build all your houses all at once, there's a big baby boom, and then all those babies will grow old and die at the same time. And you'll have a period in between that where they just will not be making babies. And you can seriously screw yourself over with that. It is horrible. I have seen so many bad examples. Well, I guess since we don't have chicken for now, I'll... <laughs> Max of two cows can fit in there. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not even worth it. Not even worth it. Hopefully, I'll get some chickens and trade soon. Me hopes. You know, I've never played with the brewer. I'm really curious about that, but eh, we'll see. We shall see. Should probably raise the hunters back up to start and run low on venison. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> this is why I decided to uh, play a bit without recording because it after a while for a bit it just turns into this just sitting here waiting for things to happen <laughs> and it, it can get very very boring <laughs> well no not very boring but to play it not boring to watch I'm Damn sure you would not want to watch that. <laughs> so, thank you. I'll save you the trouble. Log limit a thousand. Yeah, let's raise that up. Not that we're ever gonna reach it at this rate, but always worth a shot. Oh, another trader. Let's see. Pear seeds, yay! Oh, why am I doing it that way? Alrighty, so I'll put eight fifty overpaying by fifty units. Okay, so let's try forty. Overpaying by 20. Okay, 35. Overpaying by 5. 34. Overpaying by 2. Okay, so let's try 33. And we'll toss in a couple squash. Oh. Keep forgetting that. Oh, okay. Just need one. Sounds good to me. Dismiss. Wait, what the hell did we just buy? <laughs> Was that an orchard item or a farm item? Nope, it was a farm item. Or, er, orchard item. Don't listen to me. I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's put in another orchard. Right there, we'll set that for pears. Oh, and here I am whiling the winter away. With people sitting in jobs, 
that don't need them. Brilliant! And that was a waste of time. <laughs> hello, hello. Thanks for watching this episode. Sorry it got a little long-winded. Um, gonna put a cut in here. And part two will be coming up in the next couple days. So, have a good one. Hope you enjoyed.